Hey guys, it's Jamie here. We're starting our altered book. The other day we took out pages and created some space in the book. Today we take out even more pages, design our first double page spread and create some journaling cards so that you will go from this style of page to this style of page. First of all, apologies for cling filmed arm. I've got another part of my sleeve went on today. I think this month I'm actually going to use the altered book as my journal. The first thing I would like to do is to create a pocket on this page. To do that, I will be tearing down all this information here, making sure, because I have glued two pages together each time, that I've got the pages that I want to tear at. That will be a side loading pocket on this page. However, if we attach it to the next page, there's going to be very little space to put some journaling cards in. This is two pages anyway, so I think I'm going to take this one out. Then this is two pages, so I'm going to take out some more yet. I'm going to create a decent ish pocket. I'm going to take this one out. You can take some of this out, it's not essential because it's actually at the bottom of the pocket, so it's not going to be seen anyway. Where this has quite a large gap here and not here, we could add a bit of hinging to the pages so these stands up a bit. Taking just a bit of the off cut and making this into a hinge by folding it in half. That will be glued between the two of those. Taking the silicone glue because it's a nice strong one. The Uhu All Purpose is up what I use. Going to put that along there. While that dries, clip it into place. This obviously being a pocket will need journaling cards. One simple way to make the journaling card will be to actually use some of the illustrations from the page that we've just ripped out. Same on the other side. To convert that into a journaling card, we just need to back it with some paper and possibly round the corners. I have this coffee stained paper. I shall line that up, burnish it down. I'm going to go with the opium poppy as the other journaling card, and it's the same process. Although this book isn't particularly old, I am going to try to stain it with some vintage photo and get some water and spray that over it. Okay, this has had a couple of layers of the vintage photo. Now I've got some scraps of napkin to create a barrier for anything that we do next and potentially stick this back down where I got it really, really wet. Quick repair job. I'm using Mod Podge here. We will patch over some napkin. This will help strengthen the pocket join. We can actually take that over here as well. I will continue to add bits of napkin where I think it needs a bit of strengthening and I'll probably mod podge over everything. Now the napkin is all down, I have a grunge background and the Memento Olive Grove. I'm going to go over the grunge background and let's just see what this does. If we don't like it, just put some white gesso over it and um, do it again. That's kind of cool. Same on this side. That's one green. Maybe a teal will be nice. Let's go with that and see if we can find a script style stamp. Test it somewhere. Oh, that's cool. The teal again but a different stamp. 
the next thing I want to do is to collage on top of this and start to fade it all together. I have a library card, a coffee stained paper, these you can all write on. I've got this old bit of tissue that's got some gold in it. I've got this file number. What I might do is get some white gesso and just smudge out a little bit of this area. There we go. Start to fade it into bits. Okay, I have cut out a rose napkin and I'm thinking of laying it across the two pages. I quite like that actually. Using some Mod Podge. I think that's all down. Don't know if I want to put it there or not. Possibly that gives it a bit of flow. Just see if we can get some colour into that. I can add a bit of texture towards the end. You still see the quote if I do that. To fill this in, I've got a library card that I've stained with a little bit of vintage photo. You see that line is quite harsh in comparison to everything else that's been softened up. But we do have some of this still. And I think I may do some torn bits of this napkin. Okay, that's a bit better. Still think it needs something else. I think this needs some white gesso to take the edge off that library card. Maybe if we fade that in as well, it might work. I'm going to stain the white. Now look at it, a bit better. And then maybe a bit of white gesso over that. What I'm thinking is get a bit of that white and fade that in a bit as well. Tiny bit of the vintage photo over that. Tiny bit of the green. I think that is that page done. And I just need to finish those journaling cards. You can get a couple in there quite easily. There's plenty of room. To make these match a bit to this, all I'm going to do is get some of the stains that I've been using, peeled paint and the vintage photo around the edges. And then the peeled paint. And run some stitches around them. We're back with the journaling prompt. This one's quite a deep one for me. I'll go through the prompt and my answer. What has been the most healing relationship in your past and why? Took two cards. Honestly, reflecting on this gives cause for concern because I can't think of a past relationship that has been healing. Most, while not adding to the damage of my childhood, did nothing to fix it. But how could they? At the time, I had CPTSD and borderline personality, so anyone involved in my life left it more damaged than they came in. But let's not feel sorry for them, those men, as they were toxic narcissists at a minimum, and two may also have been sociopaths. The things that are healing me is me. From starting watching small YouTubes by doctors, reading books and articles, I have gained an understanding that not only do I think and feel differently to others, but how they think and feel. And to try through deliberate pause and rethink to reframe my initial thoughts and what my initial actions would have been without that checklist. As I'm only just starting this journey, I stumble, constantly have to stop and check myself, reframe, reword, 
rethink. However, this is a blessing because at least I am now aware that I think and feel differently to others. For that reason, there has been this huge gap between me and any past relationship. We never stood a chance in understanding and communicating well. I sincerely hope that by doing these prompts and by giving you an indication of, I hope a very honest answer, I'm helping you use your journals in a productive way. Of course, there are many other ways you can use a journal, as planners, as a diary, as a scrapbook, and do feel free to do that and share that. And I will see you next time.